What's up, it's your boy C. Joe, ATMENT, Power Group. You are now watching HipHopWeekly.com. Money Mills Music. Bachelor Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. You know, uh, the magazine's based out of ATL. Uh, we're based out of Houston, Bobby J and I behind the camera. Uh, but we got bad love for Chicago, man. We was here last week for an event. Uh, we're back, and it's always a good time. We step out, we meet people. And we also try to tune into artists that are trying to make their way and make a name for themselves. So before I hop into my questions, Introduce yourself to our readers, our online audience. Well, with C Joe, that's C hyphen J O E, South Side of Chicago. Coming real soon for everybody out there that wants some real hip hop. Tune in. Now, you say real hip hop, you know, um, hip hop has gone through a lot of different phases. You had the boom bap rap, you had the trap music, the crunk era. So when you say that real authentic hip hop, what are you really saying? What are you talking about? Well, to me, hip hop is versatility. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hip hop is, um, you know, your form of this thing we call rap. You know what I mean? Rhythm and poetry. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, hip hop, with my music, I got songs for the females, you know, more rhythmic, more melodic stuff. And I got the trap stuff too. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know, stuff I'm rapping faster, you know, where I'm telling stories, you know, stuff like that. That's, that's hip hop to me, versatility. Absolutely. And you talk about versatility. One thing I love about Chicago is that for every Chief Keith, you got a comedy. Exactly. For a Twister, you got a Kanye. Um, talk about the, the Chicago hip-hop scene and some of your early influences from the city. Well, beginning, you know, of course, you got to say Twister. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what most of us so really, really picked it up at, right? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Twister, uh, Crucial Conflict, they were just out with us the other day, matter of fact. Shout okay. out to Flick, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me see, of course, comedy. You feel me? Me, you know, I used to love her. You feel me? So like, man, that's, you know, that's definitely one of the OGs, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, the older people uh, has to go back around to Shauna. You know, she had been doing that for a long time. Psycho Drama, the Drama Award, definitely one of my biggest influences. Uh, young Buck from uh, Psycho Drama, matter of fact, so he was one of the greatest. Right. The original Young Buck. You know, no shade to nobody else, but he was doing it first. Um, you know, uh, like I said, those two guys, they made all the music in the world to me back and, in the 90s. And going back to versatility, a lot of different sounds, styles, techniques, just within those few names you mentioned. Um, over the past few years, Chicago has uh, really taken the spotlight. Um, or they've had the spotlight on them for their artists. Uh, tell us about coming out of the shot right now and, and the impact you want to make with your particular sound of music. Well, I mean, you know, we really, we really kind of take the influence of, of the industry on and off. Like it comes in waves in the city, mm -hmm. it seems. You feel what I'm saying? Because Chicago really is not a city like a lot of other cities. There's not a lot of unity here. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say amongst artists, just period. Mm -hmm. It's just not. You know what I mean? Whereas in New York, you know, you can have a whole coast on one guy's CD. Absolutely. LA, same thing. ATL, same thing. Texas, same thing. Out here, you're not going to see that. And it's not really necessarily only because of music, it's because out here, we don't mess with each other. Mm -hmm. It's messed up. So it's what's it gonna take? Saying. What's it gonna take to get past that and say, you know what? We're stronger together than separate. What do you think well, it's gonna take? I see it happening a lot more now. Um, you know, a lot more now because, like, you got King Louis, you know, mm -hmm. rapping with Bibby and her fairly often. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doing tracks with, you know, like you got Dirk and and, and um, Katie doing tracks. You know what I'm saying? Katie pulled me on the track for a mixtape. Katie got bands. Yeah. Interviewed her before. Uh, little Bibby and spoke with him. Uh, King Louis. So these people are making solo moves, but they're still connecting with the fellow right. Chicago artists. So it's starting to happen. Right. That's a good thing. It's starting to get over it because, like I said, back in the 90s, you could hear tracks with Twister, The Flick, The Drum War, you feel me saying? Um, 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 Cap One. Mm -hmm. And leave him out too. Cap One was definitely one of, one of them guys that he, he's still doing his thing too. Um, you know, so like you can get tracks with all of them on it. Right. And that's how we was able to kind of make a name for ourselves. Then we came back out again after Kanye came with that soul sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With the slow jams and all that. He brought the little die back. Got to shout them out too. Of course, they're classics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the only way that they was able to push each other. Where as a movie. You know what I mean? So now I think a lot of the younger guys, guys my age, you know, starting to see. You know, we got to put a lot of that bullshit to the side. 
and make good music. Absolutely. You hard, I'm hard, man. Let's get this one because we won't kill it back. Yeah, let's work. Let's let's work. Let's push each other. When you have a guy with a lot of talent, and he's working with another guy with with, with talent as well. You only steel sharpens steel. Is exactly. the point that I'm trying to make. Exactly. So I, I like that mentality. Um, for the people that are watching this and watch this interview and then they want to hop online and check your music out, what's ready for them right now on the web? Right now, um, they can jump on YouTube and uh, check out my uh, debut single called Your Body. That's uh, Y O B O D Y. With your Body. Uh, yeah, C J O C hyphen J O E. Um, I also got a track. Excuse me. That I did uh, with Track Surge, uh, one of the very influential uh, producers in the city, uh, for one of his mixtapes. Uh, it's called Pressure. So you can look that up as well, C Joe Pressure. Um, those are the only two things we got out right now. My next joint is coming out probably by the time this is out. It'll be out at least in a couple weeks. Um, Chicago, it's an anthem for the city. You know what I mean? I'm going in some of all the different hoods. You know, I got different organizational members. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, from my side and from the other side, just showing that, you know, they do it. You know what I'm saying? Very dope. Um, so you got a few loose tracks floating around, but before the interview, you was you was letting us know it's a body of work coming. No question. Tell us about that. Uh, my debut mixtape, you know what I mean? A lot of people are calling it an album. It's uh, Guess Who's Home. You know what I'm saying? It took me a while to put this question together. About, uh, about a year and a half now so far. But now we're just in a state where we're just trying to break down the songs because we got so much work. In you know what I mean? So now we're just trying to break down and see which songs we can bypass and which songs we can. Like I said, a lot of people in the industry have heard a lot of my music. You know, they haven't been publicized yet. But the industry, you know, other producers, other artists, you know, photographers, DJs, they've all heard it and they rock the wood and they can't wait till we drop. Because it's versatile, you know what I mean? Because I'm giving them something different. I'm not pigeonholing myself at all. And can't nobody check me. Because I'm harder than a lot of people. Very dope, very dope. Can you tell us who we can expect to hear behind the boards on the project? Guest features? Let us know what to expect. No question. We got um, Chase Davis on a couple of tracks. You know, he produces some of everybody. You know, Baby Herb, Louis K. Uh, he produced that fuck around in the smoke for um, Lil Mouse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's like my little brother, me and Chase. You know, he's about five years old. Um, then I got Track Surge. Like I said, uh, he's a very influential producer in the city. He produces some of everybody. You know, Baby, okay, Louis. Yeah, I got D Brooks on there. He produced Chicago, the one that's coming next. The okay. That happened for the city. He produced that. He's doing this crazy. The guitar riff on that is crazy. Um, yes, I'm working with a lot of people. Uh, Money Mills. Money Mills, another young guy. He's new in the city. He's producing for a lot of people. He's hard. He's dope. So watch out for Money Mills. Definitely watch out for Money Mills. Okay. Coming out you know, behind the wall. Okay, so we talked about Chicago and your influences. Let's expand that beyond the city. Um, who do you want to Who do you want to collab with uh, from outside your area? Production features. Who do you want to work with? I mean, you know, if I had a, a Christmas wish list, you know what I mean. Uh, it's only April, you know, right? Right. But I mean, if, if I could put this out now and y'all get it together, right? You know, by Christmas. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, the greats, of course, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, um, the big guys, the, the guys, Jay, the, the Jay-Z's, I mean, hey, he to me is the greatest, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Jay-Z, but uh, out of the, you know, um, younger guys like, you know, J. Cole, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, one of the hardest out to me, of course, Kendrick, one of the hardest out, I like Fat Trail a lot, yeah, I've been, been following a lot of Fat Trail moves, you know what I'm saying? They're like, kind of still movies. sleeping on him in certain areas, but I think when he finally, you know, puts that big song out, they gonna pick it up. They gonna pick it up. No question. Yeah, yeah. No question. Okay. So those are the guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of people, like I, I kind of listen to some of everything. You know what I mean? Like I said, I like problem them over on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. Problem a dog to me. <laughs> and people, he got some. He sticks those little punchlines and lyrics in yeah. kind of real, real smooth with it. No question. But uh, yeah, shout out to Problem. Okay, so how do we keep up with you on the digital side? Hit us with the Twitter and the Instagram. Uh, my Twitter is cjoski7, that's C-J-O-S-K-I and the number 7, no underscores. Uh, my Instagram is cjo7, C-J-O-E-7, no And if there's one thing that our, our readers, our online family got to know about you, as you, you know, make your way, what is that one thing we need to know about you? No comment. Woo! Short but sweet. Jay Bachelor, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. We're having a lot of fun in Chicago, man. You coming back? Man, please do. You know, I'm coming back tonight. You know, I got to try tonight. Ah, you heard that song, Cameron. Yeah. We out. We have to try tonight. It's going down. Let's go. Shout out.
Power Group, shout out Kenny Boone, my own promotional team, you feel what I'm saying? I'm also not just an artist, but I'm also one of the top promoters in the city. You feel what I'm saying? And we killing them right now. We run Chicago Nightlife. We brought everybody into the city, y'all already know. Look out for it, Power Group, Kenny Boone. That's what it is. Killers with me wearing blue and black. I'm in red and black. Stone nigga to the back. Bone nigga. Only opposites the coppers now. And anybody trying to.